Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is the 18th part of the series of lectures introducing the RM software for filter design. In this lecture, we will be speaking about cascade synthesis of GMC filters. Here is the content of the presentation. After the introduction, we will talk about the structure of the filter, and then we will introduce the cells, which are building blocks of the system. First, first order cells, and then second order cells. Having all together, we will discuss the GMC cascade program, which is performing synthesis. And finally, we will discuss, we will go through and design example. Cascade GMC filters in general does not differ from the active RC solutions, namely, all rules related to the pole zero pairing and order of extraction remain the same. The differences in the structure of the cells as such. In this presentation, we will go through description of a set of GMC cells, which are used in the GMC cascade program of the RM software for filter design. As will be seen, the main difference between the active RC and the GMC cell is in the fact that the output impedance of the transconductor used in place of the operational amplifier is large, so that when the succeeding cell has finite imp impedance, it loads the output of the preceding cell and changes the overall transfer function. To avoid that, within the program GMC cascade, all the GMC cells having finite input impedance are extended in that way. A unity gain amplifier is added to isolate them from the preceding cell. The unity gain amplifier has to have good high frequency domain performance to comply with the application in GMC technology. Here is the structure of the filter. Uh, one should read here, active cell is in fact active GMC cell. During creation of the physical structure, there are several choices to be resolved. First, the composition of the transfer function must be performed. That to be done, decisions are to be made as to which pair of poles is to be paired with which zero or pair of zeros, and which will be the order of extraction. As a result of that activity, a sequence of second order transfer function is obtained. For realization of every single second order transfer function, usually referred to a big word, choices are to be made based on the type of the function, low pass, high pass, band pass, band stop, and all pass, and on the type of the complex zero if there is any. Now we will go through a list of cells which are implemented within this program. First, we have the gene generic first order cell. Uh, 
generic means that uh, uh, we can derive from it uh, all the rest of the first order, order cells by putting a to zero by changing the sign of gm one or by removing the uh, unity gain amplifier at the input here is the first order low pass cell which is used in in the gmc cascade program it is a operational transconductor amplifier followed by the rc circuit in which the r is simulated by the transconductor here next we have the high pass cell which since the uh, capacitor is in the series branch at the input has to be isolated so it will not load the previous cells the preceding cells in the cascade now here is the first order cell realizing a zero at the real axis or an old pass cell the location of the zero on the left or on the right hand side of the <coughs> real axis is defined by the sign of gm1 if gm1 slash a is equal to minus gm2 an all pass cell is obtained in that case a equals one is allowed which means the bottom capacitor will be removed now we will go to the second order cell which uh, 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 for which we will first discuss the generic uh, solution uh, with proper connection of the nodes V3 and V4 and choice of the constant A and B uh, as can be seen from the transfer function uh, at the bottom of the slide uh, we may produce any type of of uh, second order function of starting with uh, low pass ending with band stop or high pass or whatever even of course complex zeros may be produced now practical realization of cells first we have first order cell or oh, sorry low pass cell uh, which as we can see uh, has uh, infinite input uh, resistance impedance so that it doesn't need the the isolating amplifier here is the band pass cell uh, where uh, the capacitors uh, c1 xc1 is the is in the series branch at the input so the uh, isolating amplifier is necessary uh, in order to avoid for this cell to load the preceding cell this is a second order high pass cell which has two capacitors uh, uh, connected to the input terminal vi so the isolating unity gain amplifier is necessary by inspection of the expression for the transfer function of this circuit we find that the gain 
at infinity is equal to the constant b, which means that if one wants to restore the gain to a value of 1 or unity, one would need a, an additional amplifier with the gain equal to the reciprocal of B. This is a second order band stop cell realizing a pair of zeros at the imaginary axis. Again, the isolating unity gain amplifier at the input is not shown. By inspection of this function, we can find that if we want to have a symmetric cell, which means the gain at the origin at the gain at infinity to be equal, one had to equate the coefficients, the last coefficients in the numerator and denominator. In that case, however, the gain will be not equal to unity but equal to the number b shown here and if one has to uh, wants to to have unity gain then uh, an additional amplifier should be added uh, with the gain equal to the reciprocal of b uh, at first glance one may conclude that since there is no a in the expression for the gain for the transfer function one may could conclude that the coefficient a has no role and the capacitors are c1 are redundant which is not the case uh, since uh, the value of a is used to accommodate the numerator of the complicated uh, expression of the generic cell so that the, the term uh, multiplying the uh, complex frequency s uh, becomes equal to zero, which uh, means that, uh, uh, that this cell will be quite sensitive to the uh, value of C1. Here now, again, the the isolating unity gain amplifier is not shown. We have a second order low pass cell realizing a first order zero at the real axis. And as one can see, its gain at the zero frequency is a quite a complicated number and if one wants to have a unity gain at zero frequency, one has to accommodate the, the values. But one is not to forget that the gain of this cell at infinity is zero, which means it is low pass. But that does not mean that the gain at the origin is the largest one. So it, there may be a, a peak at the at some frequency and if one wants to control the gain one is to find that frequency and the value of the gain to accommodate the overall function this is the most complex cell it is the second order cell realizing a pair of complex zeros uh, and again here the, the uh, isolating uh, uh, unity gain amplifier is not shown and as we can see here it may be uh, adjusted so that to be the gain to be symmetrical at the uh, origin at infinity but that does not mean that the gain in the middle somewhere is not larger than unity or 
larger than, than B. In general, even if it is symmetrical at infinity at in, in the origin, the gain will be the B, which will need, if one insists on the unity gain, we will need one additional amplifier to restore the gain, and the value of the gain of this additional amplifier will be uh, reciprocal of B. So, having all the cells uh, needed, uh, the program GMC Cascade was developed and it produces uh, the uh, HTML file which contains all the uh, developments, uh, results of all developments uh, and data needed to, to follow the design, to document the design, including the schematic. A textual file with all, uh, again, all the data, uh, except for the schematic, and the SPICE file uh, for, uh, intended to be used in frequency, frequency domain simulation. As a design example, a 10th order band stop LSMZ filter built of a prototype uh, fifth order LSM filter, uh, which was extended with two transmission zero, zeros at the positive omega axis. Uh, the maximum passband attenuation of this filter was 3 dB, the minimum stop band attenuation 55 dB. Its cutoff frequency was 100 kilohertz. Then it was transformed by the program transformation into a band stop filter with, with very wide uh, interval where the gain is reduced or the transmission suppressed. So it is 100% of the, of the uh, central frequency, 50 from one side, 50 from to the other side. Here is the result uh, obtained by SPICE simulation of the filter synthesized by the GMC Cascade program. One can see again, uh, as usual, the asymmetry. So the 50 kilohertz uh, 3B, uh, 3dB is preserved but that is not the case at 150 kilohertz. So the upper frequencies are distorted, which is characteristic for uh, the transformation when brood uh, interval is uh, to be transformed. So that is the end of the 18th part. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention.